What's up everybody? Welcome back. I'm Abe. This is Eve Online and we're going to be talking about Praxis ratting fits here. And uh, for those of you who have been uh, commenting that you can't read what's going on on my screen, I think that it's being recorded in 1440p. Um, it, you can watch it at that resolution on YouTube which will help some of the, the legibility of things, but things are still pretty small. So the way I've been trying to combat that is I'm reading exactly what what modules it is that I'm talking about on these fits, and then I'm also posting all of the fits that I talk about down in the description of the video below. So if you're curious what I'm using, you can copy and paste them out of the description and import them into your in-game fitting window by import from clipboard. So if you just select the text copy for one of the builds, come in here, import from clipboard, it'll pop it up and, and select it here. So without any further ado, let's get into, I've got two builds that I want to talk about and they're, they're, they're pretty similar. One of them came from a, a viewer of the, I think it was the Gila video, one of the past two ratting fit videos talking about uh, his or her alpha uh, praxis fit and it also I think can scale up to Omega if you are so inclined but uh, let's talk about this one first and they provided it for me in an image but they didn't they didn't give like a list that I saw anyway on YouTube of all of the specific modules so I'm piecing this together from what it looks like and from what I think my shield boost rate and some of my stats are similar, but as you can see, I'm lacking, at least on this character, some of the skills to properly fly this. So take that for what you will. So we'll start as we do usually on the high slots. We'll work our way down around to the mids and the lows and then talk about the rigs. So thank you, ZarBG123, for your fit. This is really cool. We can get into and look at it. Um, and it's based around, it looks like, cruise missiles and drones. And so why, why would you select that? Again, the Praxis, much like the Gnosis, uh, is somewhat agnostic to skill, and it doesn't require any ship command um, skills to actually like get these bonuses. So depending on how and where you're skilled, what your faction skills are, whether you're into projectiles or missiles or lasers or whatever, uh, this ship will give you bonuses to all of those things. Same thing with the uh, the missiles, and it'll also give you bonuses to drones as well. So if you can combine drones with one other damage type, in this case it's cruise missiles, then you can really have a, a, a nice combination going for you here. So I used the Arbalest Cruise Launcher 1s just because those are the, the Meta 4, um, yeah, the Meta Level 4 missile launchers. They don't require you to have, you know, all of the training needed for Tech 2. And the fitting may be a little bit looser or easier for these as opposed to the Tech 2 variants of them. So uh, let's... Now I, I usually just grab the standard ammo because... I don't know. I'm cheap. I'll just be outright with it. So so I'm right now I'm using EM uh, cruise missiles, the Mjolnir missiles. And you'll see once we get into our tank that it's geared towards EM and thermal resists, but uh, but we'll get there in a second. So we've got six of the Arbalest cruise launcher ones. I've got a drone link augmenter one to give our drones a little bit longer control range up to 60 kilometers, which isn't great considering that our max range on these cruise missiles is 129 kilometers. So we're gonna be hopefully much further away than uh, then we can control our drones and so maybe the drones are only helpful for things that come in closer to us but regardless so you'll also note once we move on from the highs here to the mids that there are no prop mods so we're maxing out at 90 meters per second um, which is pretty slow you're not going to be outrunning anybody in that as opposed to uh, I guess if you're trying to chase down a, a carrier or a Titan or something um, You'll be able to go faster than them, but uh, but you're not going anywhere fast, and there's no micro jump drive, which means that you're not going to be like managing your range that way. So that's one concern that I have for this. But otherwise, we've got an adaptive and vulnerability shield hardener two. We've got an anti EM shield hardener two, anti thermal shield hardener two, and then I had to grab again. I couldn't tell exactly what modules he was using or she was using. Um, 
In order to make it fit, I had to grab this large C5-L compact shield booster. Um, and it gets me the same shield boost rate as, as the image that they shared. Um, they've got two, or at least I grabbed two large cap battery twos here and a cap recharger. And then on the lows, we've got three drone damage amplifiers that are tech two, three ballistic control systems that are tech two, and then a coprocessor too. Um, and that's just to give us the CPU we need to squeeze all of this in there. So I've got like a shield boost rate of about 60, 59.5. My resists are geared towards EM and thermal. So, you know, you can look at your, the, whatever pirates you're going up against and to decide, you know, what you need to emphasize. As you can see on the hull and on the armor, this ship, like the Gnosis, has just a level set resistance profile, and so everything is even. So if you want to boost one or the other, you're not you're not going to have a gaping hole. You will just have a, a standard hole. Um, so right now, you know we're focused on EM and thermal, and you'll see that here, as well as over in our rigs. So we've got our lows squared away, giving us additional damage to our missiles. We've got additional damage to our drones. And then I think they used something like this, which was an anti-thermal screen reinforcer, anti-EM screen reinforcer, and then a defense field extender. This is what I chose. They just, all I had was a picture like this, and I didn't know what specific module. So I have a little bit more EHP than, than their picture shows. Maybe that's because I used the Tech 2 um, rigs. Maybe it's because I used different modules here, or maybe it's just because we have different skills, and all of those could be in play here. So mine is about 350 million with this. Theirs was somewhere around 270 million. And uh, if you look, you know, we're getting 740 DPS combination between the drones and the missiles. And keep in mind, I can't. Uh, this is using heavy drones. I don't have any heavy drone skill. So add 20% to the drone skill there. I don't have any cruise launcher skills here either. Um, so, you know, add another 20% probably to that damage as well. And you can easily get this up, you know, pretty high. So 20% of, let's just say it's 350, that's 70, add an additional 140 damage to this. And we're up at 880, 90, which is a really respectable DPS uh, for, for a battleship. So for ratting, Again, you want to target the resists and your damage output to whatever it is that you're attacking as per standard. Same thing with your drones. These are all EM drones. And you'll note that they're faction uh, drones. That means they're going to be a little bit more tanky. And they're going to do more damage than your Tech 1 drones, but not require all of the training that you would need to get into Tech 2. So, so that's this build. And again, I'm pulling from this Level 4 Missions channel. And this is what their proposed fit is. I... I, I have a suspicion I know why the CPU won't fit with this, but, uh, but let's talk about it. It's very similar to what we were just talking about. We've got, only they went with the Tech 2 cruise missile launchers. So they've got six of those. They don't have the drone control augmenter, um, but they do have, you know, heavy drones and, and such in here. So I don't know, only 40 kilometers. Either way, you've got the, the six cruise missile launchers. Let's throw Mjolnir in there. And uh, now our DPS is up to 8, 7, or 820. Instead of having three damage resistance modules in the mids, they go with a, uh, a, a gosh, I want to, I think it's an officer, the Pith X-Type Large Shield Booster, which gives you more boost than uh, the one that I had selected in the previous build. They don't have anything specific to any one pirate faction or another. They just go with two adaptive and vulnerability field. Uh, uh, adaptive, adaptive and Vulnerability Shield Hardeners, both Tech 2. This one does have an afterburner that gets them up to 237 meters per second. That's with my paltry skills. You could probably get it a little bit higher. You could also swap this out for a micro jump drive. I feel like if you're going to be popping things from, you know, 97 to 100 kilometers out, you, you, you might need to control your range more actively. It's got a eutectic compact cap recharger and then two copacetic particle field acceleration modules that are like their shield boosters so instead of getting 59.5 uh, shield in each boost i'm getting or hit points per second i'm getting almost 190 which is three times a little bit more than three times the amount 
Now in the lows, they've given up a drone damage amplifier and they've given up a ballistic control system, both of which are Tech 2s, for two capacitor flux coils, which, you know, based on the icon, imp increases the, uh, the recharge rate but decreases the, the overall capacitor bonus. Um, the overall capacitor. So they too added a coprocessor too because they ran out of CPU, but when you look at their rigs, one of them is a large capacitor control circuit one, again adding to the uh, to the recharge rate. And these two are large warhead rigger catalyst tech twos. And they increase the explosion radius and I believe the overall damage, but they have a penalty to CPU requirements for launchers. So I would guess that in order to fit this, I would need to level up my launcher rigging skill to decrease the setback or the negative impact of, of, of using those rigs. So, so their DPS is higher, even though they've got fewer damage increasing components. Um, their resistances are a little lower, at least to a specific resist, but I think you can, you can fix that to some degree you might leave the adaptive and then pick like an EM if you're concerned about EM and thermal. Or you just do EM and thermal and see where that leaves you. Um, yeah, they're a little bit more survivable because they've got a, a better repair rate. They've got a little bit more mobility. If you have a micro jump drive, then you can just sort of hop around and be popping things as they fly towards you. Uh, I feel a little safer with a micro jump drive than with an afterburner, but that's me. And it may be that if we look into this, so we're negative 31. We've got a lot of power grid to play with. Let's look. Uh, micro jump. Yeah, now we're even worse. So we don't have the, the CPU room to, to use a micro jump drive. But if you can find a way to squeeze one in there, maybe, I don't know, swap one of these out. I Personally, if I'm not with an afterburner, I, I definitely don't need... I could almost put a second one of these in there. Let's see. Yeah. See, so afterburner. Hmm. Yeah, it gives you about the same, a little more survivability because you can just jump all over the place. Um, and your your recharge rate is essentially the same. So if we compare that to the build as it was originally, four minutes and forty eight seconds to three minutes and thirty seven you're probably not going to be running all of these things all the time but it's conceivable that you would want to run your your shield booster and your afterburner constantly uh, if you're getting bombarded usually you wouldn't run a shield booster full-time you just sort of pulse it and and you should be fine as you can see you're very stable there so anyway here are a couple practice fits to use uh, alpha friendly there's no there are no really real requirements to uh, to flying it, just Spaceship Command 1, and you can focus your your skill allocations on the weapon skills and things. Now, as an Alpha, you can't get access to level 4 mission agents, which is unfortunate, but you can do emerging conduits. You're going to want to change this fit to use uh, lighter missiles, either light or heavies, um, something that will be able to apply to frigates, destroyers, smaller ships, basically. So. So there's the Praxis, and here's what I, I need from you. I need you to post your Gnosis fits below. I'll talk about that on Friday. We'll I'll, I'll go through every fit that everybody posts, and we can, I you know I'm not a, a, a I don't know everything there is to know, but I'll I'll talk about what I think and kind of where I see either room to improve or, you know I just can't improve upon it. Um, but if it works for you, it'll definitely work for other people, and I'll share it and I'll have it in the, the posted in the description below. Same with same with the, the fits that I talked about here. So thank you for watching. And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, hit subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.